Today we're going to be uh, talking about PRGF. That's a, a, a type of growth factor protein uh, processing that we use and it's basically derived from the patient's own blood plasma which we draw right on the spot. Since most of our cases are IV sedation we draw the blood right from the IV line and within minutes our technicians working on it and basically the purpose of the growth factor is to enhance healing it can be mixed with bone uh, particulate graft. It can be mixed with alloderm, which is the acellular dermis that we use for soft tissue uh, grafting for receding, uh, receding gum uh, cases, or we can actually use it by itself to promote healing anywhere we need it. Step one is to collect a small quantity of the patient's blood. The collection tubes are transferred to the centrifuge machine at the end of the cycle, the collection tubes are immediately returned to their stand. It is important that this is done carefully with minimal disruption to the blood. Each tube is now marked. The erythrocytes are the heaviest and lie at the bottom half of the tube. In the top half of the tube is the liquid fraction of interest. Concentrated in platelets, plasma, and growth factors, layer itself in, divided into two fractions, one and two. While fraction one is richer in the fibrin, which will create the collagen matrix for wound healing, fraction two contains the greatest concentration of platelets and protein markers. It is these protein markers which signal to the regenerative cells and trigger their activity. Using the plasma transfer device, fraction one and two are then separated into labeled collection tubes, fraction one and two. Immediately before implant placement, the selected implant's entire surface will be moistened with a PRGF. The liquid will also be injected into the osteotomy. So one of the greatest benefits of using the patient's own growth factors uh, in the form of PRGF is that we actually cut the healing time sometimes in half. So that means that you heal in, in less time, uh, the swelling is less if you do experience any swelling, and most importantly the result I find to be incredible. Uh, we dip our dental implants in the patient's PRGF right before placing it in, in the bone. We um, use it for all extraction procedures so we don't really get dry sockets or infections because how can the body reject its own proteins? So we're seeing incredible results. It translates into faster, speedier, much better recovery for all cases.